Hello everyone, my name is Bobi Lee, my major is Department of Environment and Energy Engineering, I'm taking a Clean Energy Technology class, and Professor Isaki P. Young. Today, I'm going to present about increased power generation in a continuous flow MFC with advective flow through the porous anode and reduced electrode spacing. Contents, what is MFC, introduction, materials and methods, results and discussion, conclusion. What is MFCs? Microbial fuel cells use bacteria to directly generate electricity from the oxidation of organic matter. Electrons produced by the bacteria flow from the anode to the cathode, where these electrons typically combine with protons and oxygen to form water. One of the main applications envisioned for MFCs is wastewater treatment. Because it is possible to simultaneously generate electricity while treating the wastewater. Introduction, it has recently been shown that the maximum power output by an air cathode MFC could be increased by reducing the distance between the electrodes, when the electrode spacing was decreased from 4 to 2 cm in a single chamber fed batch system lacking a PM, the maximum power density increased from 720 to 1210 milliwatts per square meter. This increase in power was shown to be a consequence of the reduced internal resistance with decreased electrode spacing. This research demonstrate that moving the electrodes too close to each other will decrease power output in an air cathode MFC lacking a PM, even though internal resistance is reduced. This research show that advective flow toward the cathode increases power and columbic efficiency to the highest level so far achieved using MFCs with air-driven cathodes for glucose and domestic wastewater. MFC construction, the spacing of the anode and cathode in a plexiglass cylinder was varied in order to systematically investigate the effect of electrode spacing on power. For fed batch tests, the anode was set 2 cm from the cathode with the anode fixed against a plexiglass wall. The anode was moved to a distance 1 cm from the cathode with either the anode exposed to both sides of the fluid with the total chamber distance of 2 cm or set at 1 cm with the anode against the plexiglass wall in a chamber only 1 cm long. In continuous flow experiments, the cathode was placed at different distances from the anode by adding 1 cm long sections in the reactor, the flow was directed through the anode toward the cathode, with the distance between the entrance wall and the anode fixed at 2 cm. The electrode spacing, X, defined as the distance between the anode and cathode, was set at 1, 2, and 3 cm. This is the calculation formula used in this paper. Result 1 effect of electrode spacing fed batch mode, when the electrode spacing was reduced from 2 to 1 cm, the maximum power density with glucose decreased from 811 to 684 milliwatt per meter square. If the anode was placed 1 cm from the cathode and exposed to only one side of the fluid, the maximum power density further decreased to 423 milliwatt per meter square. Power decreased under these conditions even though internal resistance decreased from 35 to 16 ohm. The C decreased from 28 to 18 percent with a decrease in the electrode spacing. The decrease in the power density produced in both cases when the anode was moved closer to the cathode resulted from decreased activity of the bacteria on the anode, as shown by a decrease in the open circuit potentials of the anode. This table shows a decrease in the OCPs of the anode. The open circuit voltages measured for these three cases were 0.820 volt, 0.797 volt, and 0.783 volt. The OCPs of the cathode were essentially constant. Thus, the changes in the OCVs were directly a result of the increased anode potentials, which were minus 0.552 volt, minus 0.531 volt, and minus 0.516 volt. Result 2 effect of continuous flow operation and flow through the anode, when the reactor was operated in continuous flow mode, with the anode placed against the wall and set 2 cm from the cathode with no flow through the anode, the power was 420 milliwatt per meter square. When the anode was placed so that fluid flow was directed through it under continuous flow conditions 2 cm from the cathode, power output was increased to 490 milliwatt per meter square. Thus, the combined effects of exposing both sides of the anode to the solution, and providing continuous flow through the anode, increased the power by a factor of 1.17. 
Result 3 effect of electrode spacing continuous flow mode When the electrode spacing was decreased under continuous flow conditions with flow through the anode, power output substantially increased in all cases. With flow through the anode, the increase in power followed the trend expected from decreased internal resistance in proportion to electrode spacing. At an electrode spacing of 3 cm, the maximum power density, identified by changing the external resistance, was 826 milliwatt per meter square. The maximum power increased to 1007 milliwatt per meter square when the electrode spacing was 2 cm and further increased to 1540 milliwatt per meter square for a 1 cm electrode spacing, resulting in an overall increase in power of 86% relative to the 3 cm spacing condition. With flow through the anode, the increase in power followed the trend expected from decreased internal resistance in proportion to electrode spacing. The paper hypothesized that the measured increase in power generation under conditions of advective flow toward the cathode, compared to batch flow, was a result of altered redox conditions within the reactor and therefore examined dissolved oxygen concentrations in the solution near the anode, additionally under continuous flow conditions. DO was not detectable in solution next to the anode surface in the reactor with a 1 cm electrode spacing. However, under batch conditions, measurable dissolved oxygen concentrations were found at distances relevant to the electrode spacings examined here. It seems likely that the presence of the DO adversely affected the electricity generating bacteria on the anode, causing a decrease in the OCP of the anode and a reduction in the maximum power output of this system, despite a decrease in the internal resistance. And, the effect of due on system performance must be considered to be an important factor in explaining the performance of the batch and continuous flow systems with reduced electrode spacing. You can see that the Coulombic efficiency and energy recovery were both improved by decreasing the electrode spacing in Table 1. The maximum values obtained for both C60% and E14.6% were obtained when the electrodes were spaced 1 cm apart with advective flow through the anode. Result 4 Power Density and Coulombic Efficiency as a function of HRT in continuous flow mode, the maximum power density increased from 790 milliwatt per meter square at HRT 4.2 hour to 1320 mW/m square at HRT 15.6 hour. We suspect the increase in power was due to a lower velocity, and therefore, a lower shear rate in the fibrous anode as the substrate concentrations in this range used to maintain a constant organic loading rate should not have affected the maximum power generation. Columbic efficiencies increased linearly with the current density, for example, at HRT 15.6 hour, the CE increased from 9% to 43% as the current density increased from 0.085 mA per cm2 to 0.41 mA per cm2. Result 5. Power generation from domestic wastewater. The continuous flow system was also tested with domestic wastewater at a constant flow rate. With two different electrode spacings, the maximum power density for the electrode spacing of 2 cm was 355 milliwatt per meter square with a current density of 0.12 mA per cm square. When the electrode spacing was reduced to 1 cm, the maximum power density increased to 464 milliwatt per meter square and the current density was 0.138 mA per cm square. The CE increased as the current density increased, as obtained when using the glucose feed, with a maximum CE of 27% at the electrode spacing of 1 cm. However, this CE was lower than that found using glucose. The overall COD removal under these conditions ranged from 40 to 50 percent. Conclusion, the maximum power from a MFC with glucose decreased from 811 milliwatt per meter square to 423 milliwatt per meter square when the electrode spacing was decreased from 2 to 1 centimeter batch mode operation. This decrease in power was unexpected as the internal resistance decreased from 35 ohm to 16 ohm. Providing advective flow through the porous anode toward the cathode substantially increased power, resulting in the highest maximum power densities yet achieved in an air cathode system using glucose or domestic wastewater as substrates. For glucose, with a 1 cm electrode spacing and flow through the anode with continuous flow operation of the MFC, the maximum power increased to 1540 mW per m2 and a CE increased to 60%. Using domestic wastewater, the maximum power density was 464 mW per m2. 
These results show that power output in this air cathode single chamber MFC can be increased by reducing the electrode spacing if the reactors are operated in continuous flow mode with advective flow through the anode toward the cathode. Thank you for the listening.